Welcome on back everybody to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a character breakdown of Yong Yong given the fact that he just released and he's actually pretty interesting. I think he can be a lot of fun. So in the beginning of this video, we're going to be going over all of his stats, his abilities, and then we'll go into all of his attacks. So starting off, Yong Yong is a Vanguard, Umbra's promising mischievous dragon. Uh, it costs 139 gems. Uh, 29,900 gold, so 29,900 gold. Let's look at their HP. At level one, has 4,500, which is really good. Now we're going to be looking at these stats. Their range is short. Their movement speed is fast. Their auto attack is Dragon's Fury, as we know. Attack count is three. Charges forward a short distance and deals 600 damage. 600 damage. Tucks into a ball and deals 200 damage when used as an aerial skill. His skill is Dragon's Majesty, cooldown with 6 seconds, charges forward a short distance dealing 500 damage, skill charge up by a holding skill, if charged for 1 second or more, rolls for 2 seconds with super armor and dealing 1000 damage, tucks into a ball and strikes down diagonally dealing 500 damage when used as uh, an aerial skill knocked back after successful hit. Now, lastly is going to be his ultimate, Dragon's Descent, charge speed normal. Designates an area for 2 seconds, Yong Yong jumps high into the air and descends rapidly to the designated area, stomping the ground heavily and causing 800 damage. So now we're going to look at Yong Yong's abilities. The first ability is going to be Good Dragon, it's going to be a common ability. Uh, decreases damage received by 50% for 3 seconds when using ultimate. And now let's see what it looks like when it goes max. 55, 60, 65, 70. The next ability is I can do it myself. Another common ability. Uh, decreases skill cooldown by 24% when hitting an opponent with aerial skill. And this will end up going up to 40%. So... With everyone possibly thinking that uh, that Yong Yong was going to get the Cindy treatment of being able to do multiple air skills um, upon landing a hit, this ability will make Yong Yong similar to uh, Cindy, to where he's not going to get his ability back instantly like Cindy, but this will be very, very similar as we see decreases skill cooldown by 40% when hitting an opponent with aerial skill. Our third ability is going to be Peekaboo, our third common ability, uh, increases the radius of ultimate's finisher attack by 7%, and this percentage ends up going up to 15%. Now the radius is already pretty nice, and with it increasing to 15%, it may contest Cindy's ultimate uh, radius increase as well. Our last common ability is going to be Beep Beep. Uh, increases ground skill damage by 12%, increases directional control by 10% while rolling. And these percentages goes up to 20% and 50%. Now our last ability is going to be our ultimate ability called One More Time. Uh, decreases ultimate cooldown by 10% when hitting two or more opponents with ultimate. And this goes up to 30%. So, as we see, uh, Yong Yong is primarily designated towards Dom, as we would not see this uh, ability used when it comes to duels. Alright, now that we went over all of the information for Yong Yong, I'm going to go ahead and start showcasing uh, all of the attacks that Yong Yong has to offer, being his normals, his autos, uh, his skill, and his ultimate.
right, and that'll wrap it up for covering Yong Yong. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and that it was very informative. We broke down everything that there is to know about Yong Yong. So now it's your turn to go out and have some fun. This was Matsu. Take it easy. Be sure to like comment, engage, and share this video on every single social media platform that you could possibly think of. Everybody take care. I'll see you around.